financial accounting. We're doing financial performance and specifically we're looking at horizontal analysis. And you'll know that horizontal analysis means we go across, doesn't it? So we're going to take a look at an income statement and do horizontal analysis for the income statement. In other words, we're going to look at each item of the income statement and look at the dollar amount of the change and then also look at the percentage change. We can also do horizontal analysis for a balance sheet. We'll need two years of the balance sheet and again, we'll go across and look at, say, the change between cash in one year and cash in the next year and not only look at the dollar amount of change but the percentage change. So let's take a look at how do we do this. I'm using short exercise four in the chapter and it says that sales are $360,000. Notice I left the zeros off. So that was in X7. In X6 it was $290,000. So as far as the change in sales, the change was $70,000. Was that an increase? Yes. So it's not in brackets. Now how do we get the percentage change? What we do is we take the amount of the change, 70,000, and we divide it by the base year. The base year is the first year. So if I took 70,000 and divided it by $290,000, I would get a change of 24.1%. 70,000 divided by 290, 24.1%. So did sales go up? They sure did. So is that a very much of a positive? Now, if the sales go up in a company, then you would expect their net income to increase, wouldn't you? But notice, net income between these two years had no change. So there was no percentage change. Well, that makes me wonder why. Since there is no change, and see, but yet sales increased 24%, What's going on? So we'll do horizontal analysis to dig down a little deeper as to figuring out what happened. So cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold started the year at 176,000, ended the year at 224,000. Notice it increased $48,000. Now to find the percentage change, you're right. 48,000 divided by 176,000 says they increased 27.3%. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's bad. Why is it bad? Because it says our costs increased at a greater percentage than our sales did. So this is, let's make that an unhappy face. That's a bad thing, isn't it? Okay, so thus gross margin also increased, but it didn't increase as much as it could have. Why? Because costs increased more than sales did, didn't they? Operating expenses started the year at 60,000, ended the year at 80,000. Expenses went up 20,000. As a percentage, 20 divided by 60 is 33% increase in our expenses over previous year. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's bad. So notice our revenue went up, but our cost of goods sold increased at a more rapid pace, and as did our operating expenses. So that meant our operating income increased $2,000 over the previous year. Could have increased a lot more, couldn't it have? So it was only an increase of 3.7%. How did we get that 3.7%? Two divided into uh, or 54 divided into 2 gives you 3.7 percent. Uh, we also had interest expense. Notice our interest expense went up 4,000. We're borrowing more money because we're paying more interest. A 40 percent increase. So things don't look as rosy as they could. Income taxes, hey, this is positive. Taxes went down $2,000. The reason taxes went down is why? because our profitability decreased, didn't it? So overall, no change in bottom line, no change in earnings per share, uh, the profitability per share. Could have been better, couldn't it have been? So that's the 
what we do in horizontal analysis. Look at the change in dollars and percentage between years.